Hi everyone, at the beginning of the ladder I decided that I will be farming every area in the game that I can with my sword. Because I absolutely despise running Mephisto on the random maps as I find it really really boring and super mind numbing. But then after about 100 runs in different locations I realized that my efficiency was suffering so I wanted to settle on some good location. And since Arachnid Lair is a new level 85 I decided to put it to test. And that's why I have my 500 runs here. It's quote by the way. And the first 100 runs I didn't actually record them uh, properly with a MF run counter, but well, they were not lucky in drops and I got this sad caduceus. This is Griswold's Redemption, rolled on refree sockets. Next item is nothing too crazy, Demon Hide Boots, these are Inferno Stride. Already went to TS for his Barbarian for Trivincal. And then one huge drop happened here. Spired Helm, unique one. Which one is it going to be? Ah, dang it. This is a Veil of Steel. Nobody ever uses this. Another really rare helmet drops next. Unique Armored. Such a shame that this item is not useful in D2R. Steel Shade with only 5 Fire Absorb. These drops you might have seen already from my first video. This is the Om Rune from the Cocoon. After that I've been clicking every and each of them for the rest of 500 runs. Finally I decided to start only focusing on this area and record every basically run with a run counter. And the first drop in the run 104 is a shaft stop. Very decent small charm from the sparkly chest. 5 FHR and 17 to mana. One of the useful unique shields, Mother's Blessed Circle. Casual laying of hands over here in around 130, I will make use of them. Another big drop that I didn't like so much. Set Sacred Armor. At least I made a mall out of it. Immortal King's Soul Cage. I actually identified here a really nice druid pelt, kind of a little shako. Two to druid skills, some life, cold and lightning res. Another useful item if you want to become bulletproof, or for your merc for example, the unique salad. This one is a rock stopper. And the second drop on the same run is again really good small charm. At the beginning you really miss those and they become really handy. Lightning resistance is plus 11. Then finally on a run 209 this happened. I'll leave it to you without comments. <laughs> yep, that was painful. Two runs after, a friend of every wizard, bone knife. Wizard spike. Just about 10 runs later, unique Scarab Shell Boots. Sandstorm Track with decent poison res. And another boot happening here, but this spider is sometimes really really angry. Natalia's Soul. Another drop that I feel is like waste of RNG. Unique Earth Spirit, you don't see it too often actually. That's a spirit keeper with only plus one to druid skills. Not a very useful item overall anyways. Here comes my first string of years in a session. This one wrote 11 DR. Well, another disappointing Spired Helm, this time it's not unique, but set one, Ondel's Almighty. 
and at the same run another unique helmet. This one is actually Death Mask. I might be using this on my smiter for the Uber Mephisto for the Lightning Absorb. And here they come, back to back in a succession, one from the Cocoon, with only 10% DR, and a second one from the pack. 11% DR. You see, I'm super lucky this time. Unique Crusader Bow, again it's a good option for the bow zones early on, until you get your Wind Force. This is Eagle Horn with decent max damage. And there we go, yep, it comes over here, set diadem. Could have been easily something around Jaw or Bear Rune and <laughs> only pull rune this time, Mavina's true sight. Although this one I won't be really complaining about. This was really really good and also with a special appearance of resonating law over here in the chat. This is Mara's Kaleidoscope 27 ORS, let's go! Amazing drop, I was really happy to get it. Yep, the views were real. I was still hoping to find Shaco, but I found the Warhead, the Peasant Shaco, I mean Peasant Crown. Somehow I'm always happy to find this item, the unique mole, especially when it's ethereal. Eth Bone Snap. I was surprising to find that this item is not really available on the trade market. The unique Vampire Fang Belt, Nosferatu Squirrel with 7 life leech. When this happened I was kind of pissed, I have to agree, I was like, oh no, again, stupid boots, oh my goodness, but look at them, 30 faster run walk, 40 light rest, 30 fire rest and 24 mf, this is solid, really solid pair of boots. And finally, there it is. <laughs> Stupid ethereal shaker. <laughs> uh, what's up with my RNG boys? And lastly, the unique demon head. I was really happy to close the finds with this one. And Darius Visage, even though it rolled only 26 strength. Here are basically all the items that I found. I underlined those that I think really good and valuable. As you can see, the place is actually able to deliver a lot of cool stuff. That's just my RNG that wasn't too good. I got one high rune and three TC-87s that could have been something more useful, like Death Web or Grief and Zai. And I didn't have consistent magic fine, also forgot to count packs in the beginning, so I will do it next time. Thank you for watching guys, as always. See you next time.